Right. All right, Mark. That that's the one of the big games this weekend. And I say one because there's literally a plethora of them on the schedule, and I would like to go to my first big game. And that's Sunday night football right off the bat. The eight and one Kansas City Chiefs, who have won four in a row, are going to Vegas to take on the Raiders, who are six and three and have won three in a row. And just off the top, before we started recording, as Mark mentioned, this is we're recording this before Thursday night football and it's Wednesday. We we have news that apparently, according to Rap Sheet and Tom Pelissero from the NFL network, this is the verbiage they use that nearly all of the starting Raiders defenders have come into close contact with a high-risk uh, COVID person, and basically most of their starting defense is in COVID protocol is what I'm trying to say. So their status right now is very questionable. Now, according to COVID protocol, if they continue to test fine throughout the week, they should be good to go on Sunday night football, but that also means they can't practice right now, and that's the big thing. And that's that's a tough blow for a game that I was very, very excited for coming into the week. I mean, when was the last time we got to hype up a Raiders-Chiefs matchup like we were going to hype this one up, but it, 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 it really does suck. And it does take some air out of the balloon, but I still think this could be a very fun matchup. And here's why, because I think this is a massive revenge game for the chiefs. And you're thinking the chiefs, why, what, what do they have to prove to anybody? Well, if you remember in the long, long time ago of what was it week five at this point, the Raiders walked into Kansas city and beat the chiefs in case we all forgot about that. It was one of the biggest upsets of this young season. And Apparently, after the game, what happened was the Raiders got on their little team bus outside of the stadium, and they were so happy. They were so overjoyed with their victory. They did victory laps around the stadium in the parking lot, according to reports. And the Chiefs have not forgotten that. They are still very angry about that. Andy Reid made comments about it earlier this week. So I feel like the Chiefs are going to come into this game on Sunday Night Football very amped up and very angry, and rightfully so. It's their lone loss on their basically perfect record so far this young season to the scrappy young Raiders team that's showing a lot more fight than I thought they had in them. But why don't we go back to that aforementioned Week 5 game in Kansas City and look at how the Raiders really won it. Well, I think they won it in the second half is what I think they did. Their secondary was playing lights out. They were holding Mahomes in check. I mean, think about it. They only held Mahomes to eight points in the second half of that game. If you're any team in this league, you take that in a heartbeat, like no questions asked. The Chiefs were able to do that, and they were able to manage things, and they were able to make big plays with Nelson Aguilar down the field, and that's something that they've really showcased well this season. And I I wouldn't bet on them to hold Mahomes to only eight points in the second half. I wouldn't bet on that again, especially with the news about their defense that I just mentioned a minute ago. But if there is a recipe for an upset, it's going to come from not the Raiders' defense, but their offense. Because interestingly enough, the Chiefs are still having similar problems that they had last season on defense, specifically their rush defense. They're, believe it or not, they're the 29th ranked rush defense in the league. They're giving up 138.4 rush yards per game. And Mark, you and I both know what the Raiders want to do. They want to run that football like there's no tomorrow. And then, you know, take some shots with Henry Ruggs and Nelson Aguilar here and there and then make some plays downfield. That's their MO to a T. So they're going to ride Josh Jacobs like there's no tomorrow in this game, try to control time of possession and give their defense who is going to be a little gassed because they haven't had a lot of practice this week a break. But if the Raiders are to somehow win this game on Sunday night football, I think we can legitimately talk about them, not just being a playoff contender, but a for real AFC team. I know Mark's thrown around a moniker for them that they're a nice litmus test if you're for real in the AFC. And I really like that opinion of them. But this could be a massive prove-it moment for this young John Gruden era that, you know, they haven't swept the Chiefs since 2012. This will be their first opportunity to do that in eight years. And he's brought new life into that team and all this and that. And it's some good feelings in Raiderville, but I'm taking the Chiefs on Sunday Night Football. They're going to come out angry and they're going to come out looking for redemption for what happened earlier this season. Yeah, each week when I put out my power rankings, Hayden, I have the Chiefs since forever now atop it. Mm-hmm. And I know I got called out over last week, hedging up with Pittsburgh ahead. And it's just, I don't even think I need to justify it anymore. They're just the scariest team. And on any given Sunday, they can look like absolute beasts. I wouldn't fear for them going in against any opponent. And there's so few, you know, games that I can say that for. I mean, yeah, when we proved, or when we previewed this uh, the last week, week five, if that's when you think it was, um, we did say, oh, John Gruden can step up in this spot. And that's the fighting chance Mm. that we gave to Vegas. And that's what ended up happening. But 
even when we like to refer to the power rankings when Pittsburgh went against Tennessee and against Baltimore, you know, at least we gave those teams half a chance. Whereas Las Vegas, even though they are a strong team and they definitely are pushing for the playoffs, uh, 